Okay, so this is going to be a continuation of our previous lecture. So in our previous lecture, we had created a new tenant and we had mentioned that particular tenant with a domain name vlcorg1.onmicrosoft.com. Now a link to that video I'll give in the description below as well as over here. Okay, so once we've created this particular new tenant, Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to change this primary domain. So this particular primary domain is not specific to my organization. So I want to change it and make it specific for my organization. Now to do that, what I need to do is I need to go to my custom domain names and I need to add a custom domain here. So let's click on this. And I already have a domain for my organization and it's called very lazy coders.in. And of course, I need to have ownership of this particular domain. So let me click on add. And here what I need to do is I need to add these entries to my DNS. So, okay, so I have my domain registered with GoDaddy. So I need to log into my GoDaddy account and in that I need to access my DNS. So here I am in my DNS for my GoDaddy account for my particular domain, very lazy coders.in. So the only thing I need to do is I need to add a new entry in my DNS. So it has to be a text as mentioned here. And then the alias would be at the rate of and this particular value would, I just need to copy it here. And the time to live would be 3600, so this is fine. And let's click on save here. And I need to wait for a few minutes for these values to be propagated. So let's wait for a few minutes. So meanwhile, I'll just pause this video. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. Let's see if we are able to verify this. So let's click on verify. And you can see that the verification has worked. So the next thing that I'll do is I will make this particular domain my primary domain. So let's just click on this make primary, click on yes. And now my particular domain is the primary domain for this particular Active Directory. So now the things that I can do with this is that I can click on users and I can create users specific to my domain. So let's click on new user here. And you can see that the user would have this particular domain associated with it. So let's say I want to create a user called Chris. So his particular ID would be now Chris at the rate of very lazy coders dot in. So now this particular user is specific to my organization and my particular domain. And you can create your user just like you would any other user. So everything else remains the same. So that's it for this lecture. So in this lecture, you've learned on how you can associate your custom domain with your Azure Active Directory. So I hope this was a useful lecture. I will see you in the next.